Uh, Easter weekend 2022. What a fantastic weekend it was. So uh, second weekend for Scollies, or first week for Scollies leading up. And uh, we had a bit of a social gathering, uh, catch and cook, little social competition. So that was pretty cool. First Scollies of the, the season for myself and Ewan. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> We've got these fairy wrens all over the place right now. Um, superb fairy wrens, they're pretty cool. Um, they're racing around eating mosquitoes. <laughs> I've got bug spray on, but some of the mosquitoes are coming next to me and uh, these guys are just cleaning them up. Good on them, mate. Eh? Fuck, I'm putting water into a pan! It's a good little clip when you chop it together. Yeah. There's that, all that stuff. That stuff's like, you know, it's part of it. So it was my old man's birthday the other day. Um, and he told me he was going to go out for scallops for lunch. Couldn't get them. Um, the restaurant he went to didn't have them. And maybe that's because it was before Easter this year, but uh, he sent me this recipe that he wanted to get. And um, I'm gonna try and make it myself with some, uh, some scallops he's got yesterday. So I went out for a quick dive with Ewan yesterday, Arvo. Got a few, I've prepped them all up. And probably making a bastardized version of the, the dish, but uh, should be pretty tasty. Oh, it smells good already. Last night I had a few just fried up, they were amazing. Just uh, with a bit of chili, taco spice. But today, I'm gonna try a mango chutney with some veg. Onions and uh, shallots and alcohol. Now, unless you're watching this in the future and we've got smell o vision already, can't smell this, but oh, mate, it smells good. Scallops look good, smell good, they're gonna taste good. Bit of veg. Bit of flavor, extra flavor. Oh, that smells good. And I've got some uh, rice noodles that uh, I just boiled up before. A mango chutney. Literally, mango. Bit of chili, pepper. So there you go, Dad. Bit late, but uh, how's that go here for a uh, birthday dinner, lunch? I'll eat it for you as well, mate. Michael might help too. Need to try it out. Yeah, cool. Does it need coriander? Coriander would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> bit of chili kick. I think we had a bit of chili in the sauce, a bit of chili in the powder. All adds up. Scallops are lovely. Can't beat fresh scallies. Easter weekend, eh? Had to re rig my gun before the weekend, so uh, fresh shaft. Keen to get into it. As you can see Mike's new weddy. Uh, jumping in, we were told there was a little bit of swell there. Didn't uh, listen to those people that told us that and went in anyway. Wasn't too bad once we were in there. Lots of jack mackerels. Uh, nothing too big with the jacks, but kept looking. Yeah, when they school, they school. Fish is coming up here. 
one up on that beautiful herring car there. Oh, I think that's got to be my biggest uh, male herring car that I've taken. And uh, as tradition, that was a ceviche. Ceviche snack for the boys. I'll be some herring kale. Second fish for the weekend was a zebra fish. So I uh, just had the biggest male hairy cow I've gotten, and I believe this was the largest zebra I've ever shot. It was a monster, so just there. Pike shot by Mike. Got a little moist this morning, not in the cool way either. Um, we're all kind of deciding where the best spot to set up is while the dad here. Moxie's over the lake over there. Still there. We would start the day off with a bit of a shore dive at Coles Bay and uh, greeted by some magpie perch. Pretty nice, haven't seen too many of those about on the East Coast. Nice Senator Ass just here, very pretty fish. And yeah, more of these uh, Nanagai like fish and some baby crayfish. A few draft boards about. Put the carcass of the zebrafish out to see what it would attract, and uh, of course got some draft boards quite interested. Uh, they had a bit of a tiff over the carcass, so they got some cool footage right there. Just chomping on each other's head as you do when you're a shark and you don't want to share your uh, leftovers from the humans. the shore dive it was time to get back out on the scully beds. Justin sailing boat there, Malia heading out with some of the lads. Uh, I went out with uh, Jack a little bit fast there on his little titty. Yeah so out for some more scullies. Uh, it's always really nice going out getting scallops. Uh, the diving vid footage probably isn't too exciting to watch though. Um, so here we are just bagging out on scullies. Uh, grabbing some of those. I think I've almost finished them all. I'll probably have some scallops tonight and I'll have to get back out, get some more, I think. Uh, do really, really enjoy scallops. Uh, we all went pretty nuts, got a good feed, and uh, the cooking competition, which I didn't have the intention of uh, doing scallops. However, I really enjoyed that uh, meal I cooked earlier in the video and uh, didn't shoot any more fish. <laughs> so, <laughs> had lots of scallops and I thought, all right, well, let's, uh, let's make that mango chili scallops again. And uh, 
It was awesome. Absolutely loved it. Everyone loved it. All the meals that were cooked up were uh, something you'd expect in a five-star restaurant. Fresh seafood, can't go wrong. We also had a mystery fish hunt, which involved deciphering the fish in this poem. Now, reading it, I've got Liam. Why not on this day? Tis a good day to munch and crunch and eat away. Sun is shining, the water is calm. Come beneath and hear my song. Water blue, so much right. Come too close and I'll take flight. The kelp ebbs and it flows. Look beneath it and I'll go. See no silver, maybe some blue. If you're lucky, you will find two. We swim in packs, but certainly not schools. Hesitate to shoot, you will be the fool. My belly turned, silver delight. Oh, on this string, you will feel might. Why not on this day? Tis a good day to munch, crunch, and eat away. Any idea what fish that is? It's either Australian salmon, zebrafish, black drummer, silver trevally, yellow-eyed mullet, blue-throat wrasse, sea sweet, or jackass maw. I'll give you the answer at the end of the video. Bit a solid act of piracy, I jumped on Malia and uh, found that small flathead. Tiny thing, must be go. hiding in a scholar. Off to the deep blue. Oh, look at that. Scullies. Beautiful. Done. First day of scullies, how you are? More scullies than you can put your stick at. Nice. Back at camp, we were greeted by an absolutely stunning sunset. So Swanwick Bay just, just put on a show for us. On Saturday we went off road to get to another diving spot and uh, Mike grabbed the GoPro and jumped out the window almost to uh, get some groovy footage so yeah I thought we'd chuck this through. It's, uh, Really cool. Thanks, Heath Mike, for uh, losing your contact lenses uh, for the dive. <laughs> they were in his pocket and fell out, but we did retrieve them on the way back, so there is that. And here's Justin coming through. Uh, not the most technical forward driving in the world, but it is, a, it is a lot of fun going out there. Always good to get out and explore new spots. Gonna get moist. Once we're in the water, there was uh, a couple of fish I wouldn't have wanted to get for the, the dish I had in my head. Uh, and Trevally was one of them. Uh, they were about, however, they were spooking pretty easy. So you could see them before I dove down and they were gone. Mackerel's coming to say hi. Uh, again, I'm not the best Trevally hunter in the world. Found them again, I thought, all right, well, I'll take a shot from the surface, which I'm terrible at. Um, I probably should have dove away from the school or something and turned around. Have done that to attract Trevally before. Tons of jack mackerel about. Uh, nothing too big, but they were uh, in healthy numbers. Come the night, it was time for the cook-off. So there were plenty of absolutely, like, ridiculously good dishes being made. Oh, look at this. Scallops, the, the, the flavour of the night, hey? Absolutely. Hey, fish. Oh. I just want to jump into that. Looks good, mate. Garlic, that's the secret ingredient? Uh, it's, no, not the secret, the staple. Yeah. The staple. Garlic on your garlic. Finish it, look at that, mate. Look at that, flatbread. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. First fish. First fish on the pole spear. One rat. Beautiful. Rass. Smoked. Look at this. I love this teamwork though. This father and son. Uh, edition of the Catch and Cook, Tazzy Spurs. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yeah, good to see everyone again, as well as new faces. Yeah, it's a good time. Looks amazing. I'll take it. So everyone just needs their own plate and utensil. Uh, hopefully people have provided serving utensils with theirs. If not, we'll try to make it work as we go. Uh, before we get started, we'll quickly do introductions of the dishes. Uh, we will be voting for a winner later, so try to hear out the name uh, with the dish so that you can vote effectively at some point. Uh, so left to right, what do you got? Looks like David's on the one. Alright, um, so this is mine here. Uh, I'd probably stay away from it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's flathead and blue throat, uh, blue throat, pan fried. And then um, I just fried off some lemon, capers, and butter. Um, and then topped it off with a bit of coriander. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Justin, what we got? We have a scallop marinara uh, with uh, mushrooms and uh, the white uh, cauliflower. There you <laughs> <laughs> and I think you the white vegetable. <laughs> Mo sorry, Mornay, not marinara. Mornay, there we go. Um, nice, nice. Sorry, yeah, sure, sure. scallop <laughs> Mornay. And it goes with the pasta. It goes side. <laughs> Jack? Um, so I've made scallop ceviche. Um, so it's just like cured scallop ceviche. Um, with lime and lemon juice, salt and pepper, two different types of homegrown cherry tomatoes, and then there's a bit of garnishing of um, coriander, jalapenos, and um, wasabi. So there. Um, Choose your own vices on that one. Yeah, watch out for the chilies. Yeah, that's Ooh. actually really smart. Yeah, yeah. Heads, up. <laughs> heads up. 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 Self-serving chilies. Go at risk. Remember where you're from. Uh, <laughs> Rate your whiteness. <laughs> so, Michael, um, I got a smoked scallop and crayfish pasta in a cheese sauce topped with spring onions and tomatoes, as well as some capers tossed inside. We have rest tortillas with obviously rest, which I uh, up shot until today. today. First fish. Shot today. Yeah. First fish. Yeah. I have a really good competition. <laughs> Come on, first fish. On a and pulse spear too. Pulse spear as well. Come on, get out of here. Did More pulse spear fish than me. Ten years of diving. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's got bad, some it? rass yeah. and then sour cream, some black beans, um, and mm. homemade guacamole on some homemade tortillas for which Seth yeah. is yeah. distinct. I have prepared uh, for you all a scallop abalone and Australian salmon marinara um, with mozzarella, um, cheese and parsley, a bunch of garlic and herbs. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Who's left? What do we got? Cam? Come on up. All right. What do we got? So right here, it looks bloody marvellous, doesn't it? That's um, <laughs> rice pasta with scallops with mango chutney chilli. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, chutney chilli. Sandman? Oh, no, sorry. I almost skipped. Awesome. I'm last one. Yeah, last one oh. in line. Oh, yeah. no, we're going, going in physical. Oh, oh come yeah, on, let's yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I'm dishes. It worked out perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Austin. Austin. Uh, scallop carbonara. Uh, using uh, sea urchin roe. What? In the sauce, as well as scallop roe. Um, bit of shardy. It's got no dairy to sauce and butter. Anyone lactose intolerant? Uh, and that's a secondary main dish. Please vote for that one. Don't include this one. Uh, salmon gravelax caught four days ago, cured in beetroot, gin, coriander, seed, um, and salt and sugar. So, super tasty. Uh, grab some of that as well, please. Mm. Well done, man. A bit of butter. Oh, yeah. A lot of butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my breath hold skills are getting the getting a workout because I'm really drowning in my own saliva. Because I'm fucking <laughs> uh, I've got a, um, this is mine. This is a garlic, capers, and fresh homegrown herbs um, concoction with cream. Throw it on a little bit of rice. There's heaps of cream, thick in the cream sauce. Um, there's a secret ingredient in there that I'm not going to tell anybody. Uh, that you can ask quietly later. Oh, yes, yes, scallops and um, abalone. Well done. Yeah. So you just saw some incredible meals just there, all 10 star recipes, bloody delicious. Uh, the winner happened to be Sam. So he made the 
creamy scallops and abalone garlic, capers and fresh herbs straight from his garden. Uh, we also had the most impressive catch. Now that went to Chantel. So Chantel had never been spear fishing before. She'd come out with a pole spear and took out a wrasse. So that was the, uh, the most impressive catch. Also the mystery fish. So earlier we had that poem that uh, Liam spoke for us. Now we had, what were they? They were Australian salmon, zebra fish, black drummer, silver trevally, yellow eyed mullet, blue throat wrasse, sea sweet, or jackass morlocks. So I just read that from the computer if you saw me gazing over. Uh, now, I don't know what you, what you thought it might have been, but uh, it was the zebra. Hadn't shot many fish this weekend, but I did shoot a nice zebra fish, and uh, end of the weekend, or end of the night, sorry, uh, Jack Dickerson said um, he reckons it's zebra, and I was the only one that caught one, so I said zebra, and it was. So I was incredibly fortunate. I won half a carton of little creatures. Uh, I'm not a big fan of little creatures, so I shared them around. I, had a few wines and uh, later on the night I thought oh, I might try one of these. Grabbed the last one, took a sip, thought that ain't that bad. <laughs> Always good to share at these cookups. Uh, the next day on Sunday, so Easter Sunday, we had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a different kind of day. We all went down as a big group. We kind of took some photos. We met these professional uh, photographers at camp. They they uh, come and had a feed with us. And they come down, jumped in the drink, and took some really cool sh shots. I haven't seen them yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay.